गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स एंड इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इंडोल वॉट इज इंडोल लेट अस डिस्कस इट स्ट्रक्चर ऑर्बिटल स्ट्रक्चर देन वी शेल मूव विथ इट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंडोल इज लाइक दिस इट हैज गॉट ऑन बेन्जिंग रिंग एंड ए पैरो रिंग दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंडोल and these two pi electrons of this nitrogen are going to involve in the resonance to involve in the resonance it should be present in unhybridized p orbitals so let me write the hybridization of this nitrogen is sp2 and all carbons are here sp2 hybridized so my first point is all elements are sp2 hybridized since these are sp2 hybridized we know that the sp2 hybridization is nothing but they will be in a planar structure they will be in single plane so the whole indole is in a single plane and also there is a conjugation see double bond double bond single bond double bond two pi electrons single bond double bond there is a continuous conjugation throughout the ring so there is also conjugation moreover see two two electrons two electrons two pi electrons two four six eight ten totally we have got ten pi electrons hence from all these four points the compound is aromatic since compound is aromatic it should be more stable so hence the indole is more stable and the one more thing is it is a heterocyclic because there is nitrogen a heteroatom present in the same ring and also it is called as benzene pyrrole because indole can consist of benzene as well as pyrrole so it is benzene pyrrole it is the basic structure of indole now we need to uh, study the orbital structure of indole what is the orbital structure of indole as i told the nitrogen is sp2 hybridized here so the nitrogen the atomic number of nitrogen is 7 so it has got 1s2 2s2 and 2p3 totally it makes 7 since this 1s orbital are near to the nucleus we know that nucleus is positively charged so the nucleus will attract this electrons so these electrons the inner electrons are not going to participate in any bond formation but these two s electrons and two p electrons these are electrons present in outermost orbitals are going to participate in bond formation as well as in hybridization so i have got here two s two electron and two p three three electrons here and i know that the nitrogen is sp2 hybridized so at excited state this electron is going to jump towards this and this will undergo hybridization which hybridization sp2 hybridization and these one these two electrons in the in this orbital remains in pi orbital that is unhybridized pi orbitals so this is the orbital structure we know that sp2 hybridization means trigonal planar like this those will be like this see all are 120 degree with each other and all are in a single plane and these unhybridized p orbitals we know that p orbitals will be px py pz all are perpendicular to each other so this is present in pz orbital then it should be perpendicular to this planar structure so i am going to represent this by unhybridized p orbitals by dotted line and are perpendicular to this plane if this is the sp2 hybridized structure planar the unhybridized orbitals will be above the plane and below the plane like this they are going to have unhybridized orbital and and this hybridized orbital consists only one electron density here and this unhybridized con con contains two electron density like this so since all these carbons let me draw like this you will you will get the clear cut idea of this when i draw no problem if it is the structure see all are sp2 hybridized all carbons are sp2 
hybrid. So these unhybridized will remain perpendicular to this. Like this, they remain perpendicular to the plane. And they are going to interact. The above will interact like this. The above will interact and down will interact like this. So if this is the structure, a structure, there will be above electron cloud density and below electron cloud density and we have got here a structure like this. This will be our plane structure and we have pi electron cloud density here and pi electron cloud density here. Moreover, all are in conjugated system. So these are rich in electron. So these will undergo electrophilic substitution reaction. It is because electrophiles are electron deficient and these are electron rich. So the electron deficient compounds like electrophiles are going to attack electron rich that is indole. So but they undergo only substitution reaction not the addition reaction. It is because if they undergo addition reaction the aromaticity of this compound is disturbed. If aromaticity is disturbed then the compound will be highly unstable which I have explained through, throughout my videos. I have explained the same thing in pyrrol, furan and thiophil. So I am not going to concentrate much on that thing. If you not got anything you please go there and watch the result again and again. It is about orbital structure of indole and hybridization. In competitive exam, they may ask like this. These electrons, that is electron present in nitrogen in indole, whether they are present in sp2 hybridized, sp3 hybridized or sp hybridized or unhybridized p orbital. The, our answer is unhybridized p orbital because this nitrogen sp2 hybridization will be here. 1, 2, 3. These three orbitals will form sp2 hybridized but these electrons are present in unhybridized p orbital which are perpendicular to the plane. Those will interact with this unhybridized p orbital of carbon to form conjugated ring like this. So these are present in where unhybridized p orbital. The same thing occurs here see you no need to confuse if, if I consider this pyridine. Pyridine has got electron system like this. See here. Here also nitrogen, this is sp2 hybridized and these two electrons and sorry, this is the structure of pyridine. See, this is also 6 per electron, but here the pyridine is sp2 hybridized, but these lone pair of electrons are present in sp2 hybridized orbital, orbitals, not in unhybridized p orbital. It can stay one unhybridized p orbital with one electron, but these electrons are present in sp2 hybridized whereas these electrons are present in unhybridized p orbital if you want to know you please go to this video pyridine and there in orbital structure i have explained it clearly go and watch it it is the uh, indole structure and introduction to indole in next class we shall discuss about its electrophilic substitution and we shall discuss its mechanism till then take care and have a good day bye